Now, how do you lead a high performance team? How do you lead a high performance team? Well, let's level set of what a high performance team might look like. In my opinion, a high performance team has at least three characteristics. First, they have very strong core skills and competencies around their specific roles on your team. Second, they have a very high degree of curiosity. They're always thinking about why this assignment makes sense. Where does it fit in? What else could actually be value add to whatever the assignment is going to be? Third, a great high performance team member makes it their business to make sure that they build relationships throughout the organizations because none of us work in a silo anymore. We're all working in highly interdependent environments, which means there may be people in other areas of the organization, some that may be tangential to you, some that may be completely in a different space, but very often you will need to depend on other people to give you insight or to give you data or even to show you how to move forward with whatever your assignment might be. And a high performance team member will have built these relationships. So as these challenges come up, they have other relationships that they can access in order to successfully prosecute whatever their assignment might be. So that's a basic profile of a high performance team member. Now, how do you lead a high performance team? Number one, you want to be really clear about what the objective is at hand, what you are expecting from the team, what success looks like. You also want to be very clear on the timeline. Maybe it's a loose timeline. Maybe it's a tight timeline, but you want to give them some color around how long they have to complete the overall assignment. The third thing is that you want to talk about what the upper bar might look like. So you want to say success looks like this. If we get this done, I will consider that an A. However, an A plus might look like this. If you find this piece of information, if you actually think about the next question, but you want to give them some guidance as to what stellar, stellar performance looks like. Now, the third thing that you want to do is to make sure that you are liberal with the adder boys and the adder girls. When your team comes back early with a completed, flawless assignment, you want to make sure that you are very liberal. Well done, team. Way to go. Or you guys outdid yourself this time. You want to be very liberal with that and on point with it. When there was a mistake being made, then maybe you talk about maybe you weren't clear with the assignment. Maybe something that you didn't anticipate came up that actually slowed the team down. Maybe there was a resource that you didn't get. So that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing as somebody who's leading a high performance team. And lastly, you want to be thinking way ahead because you want to think about the next thing and the next thing so that you can challenge your teams to really go afterwards. That's how you lead a high performance team. Be clear, be clear about the assignment, be clear about the time, liberal with the Atta boys and the Atta girls, and actually coming up with the reach assignments, the next one and then the next one to challenge them to go get it. Now you go get them. <laughs>